subject. What is the first verb in here? Something that somebody did. Uh, was late, yes? So, was late is going to be part of my predicate. Who was late? Yeah, the useless, tired, sick event that I met last Tuesday. So, a whopping big subject. The useless, tired, sick event that I met last Tuesday. Because it isn't about me meeting, is it? It's about him or her being late. So, that's my first independent clause. Now, my second subject, Ben? Um, so I said I felt. Is I felt what, who's doing the action? I, yeah, I. What did I do? I felt really angry. And I need a conjunction to join it together in a valid way. And. So we basically have two sentences glued together with our conjunction in the middle. This is a valid sentence. What I mean by a comma splice, and I'm mainly saying this actually because I've got Josh videotaping because I promised that I'd video a little bit of my lesson to someone is that you can join it with an AND, you can also join it with a semicolon, but you cannot join it with a comma. A comma breaks up sentences, it doesn't join two sentences. So when you get to somebody else doing something else, a separate actor with a separate action, then it's either a semicolon or a conjunction. And that's what a comma splice is. It's using a comma to splice two things together that shouldn't be together that way. That's not how we join sentences. All right, I'll get you to stop.